Limerick have won the All Ireland four in a row. They matched a great Kilkenny side from a couple of years ago. And for in my opinion, Limerick are one of the greatest teams in the history of the GA. Like not just forget Hurland, but they are one of the greatest of all time. Let's just score 21 points in the second half. 21 points. That is absolutely mental. And the majority of them were from freeze. Like that is absolutely outrageous stuff there from Limerick. Absolutely incredible stuff. What a performance. What a team. To think Kilkenny, when Paddy Deegan scores that goal in the second half, Kilkenny are five points up with about 45, 46 minutes played. And Limerick just, like, it's, I, I don't know how, like, it's like you flick a switch, you turn a button, you press something, and they just they just turn it on. They just turn it on. And that is exactly what has happened. And, um, wow, like, what, what a second half performance from Limerick. Commiserations to Kilkenny. They done so much right for so long. You know, they, they got the job done. They got the, the, um, you know, they were winning that battle. They were winning that those battles. They were winning those 50-50 battles. Like, the, the, they were getting, they were winning ball ahead of uh, Limerick's fullback line. Tom Phelan was having a phenomenal game for Kilkenny. Three points. I'm not entirely sure why he went off. It could have been an injury. Obviously, Connor Fogarty goes off as well. Like, I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Um, obviously watching this stream or doing this stream without any commentary on the on the TV, so it's hard to know what happened there. But wow, like mental stuff. But Kilkenny were they were getting so much right. Paddy Deegan, I thought, was having a really good game. I think he scored one one, and Limerick just they just flicked it. They just flicked it like straight after that Paddy Deegan goal. Limerick took over and dominated. And like I'm actually going to have a look at it here. So, I'm just having a look here in the score app. So, in the 41st minute, Kilkenny get a goal. They're five, they're five points up at that moment in time. Then after that, Limerick score 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 points after that. There's probably more here. The app isn't even updating. They, they score 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 points after that. And Kilkenny scored four points. Five points. So, like, remarkable. In the final 20 minutes, like, Limerick outscored Kilkenny 17 points to five. Like, that's absolutely outrageous stuff there from uh, from a Limerick perspective. Peter Casey wins man of the match there on uh, on RTE. I think, yeah, like, he really, really stood up in the second half. Five points. He hadn't. He actually didn't score. Like, I'm just going to have a look here again. He actually didn't score until the 43rd minute. So, to think, like, he, like it was his point in that 43rd minute that really... Like that was the start of it because it was two minutes after the Paddy Deegan goal, and he just came alive. He absolutely came alive, turned it on, found the difference, found the impact, and um, wow, absolutely extraordinary, absolutely extraordinary stuff there from from Paddy Deegan and for or for um, Peter Casey to turn it on like that. Keen Lynch was outstanding as well. Two points. He was setting up plays around them. An extraordinary performance from him. David Reedy came good towards the end. Like, Grode Hegarty was quiet enough, you know, and we associate him usually sort of being the man to turn it on in all Ireland finals and deliver. He scored, what, 1-5 last year in the all Ireland final. Only two points today. He was, you know, in fairness, Paddy Deegan won that battle um, and was really, really good. Scored 1-1 in total. But, um, but, but Limerick found an answer. They found an answer and remarkable remarkable stuff you know and it'll be great to watch this game back again and and sort of you know see limerick how they managed to to turn around like just absolutely extraordinary absolutely um extraordinary stuff there from from limerick and um wow like four all irelands in a row now four all irelands in a row like that's that's mental isn't it you know mental to think mental to think that this limerick side hadn't won an all ireland for 45 years going into the 2018 All Ireland final, and um, and yeah, they went they win the All Ireland that year, and then they you know they lose it in 2019, and then they win four in a row. Absolutely, absolutely incredible. Jeremy Burns being interviewed in RT there as well. What a game from him! He was remarkable. He really turned it on. Uh, eight points in total. Really came good towards the the closing stretch, and yeah, like I think Limerick were missing their captain Declan Hannan and missing Sean Finn and. To be fair, probably the first time it looked like those two injuries were coming back to bite them because Kilkenny hitting those long balls on top of Limerick's full-back line 
Limerick were really struggling, really struggling to deal with it. Um, you know, Kilkenny were winning so much ball. Owen oh, Cody, phenomenal game. Like he got he gets himself a goal. TJ Reid was really at it as well. Tom Phelan, like running at the the center of Limerick's defense was causing all sorts of problems. And yeah, Limerick looked beaten. Limerick looked beaten at that stage. Um, but they they turned it on and they found an extra 10% in themselves. And you know. They say that when the going gets tough, the tough get going. And that epitomizes Limerick because how many times have we seen this? Like the Tipperary game a couple of years ago um, when they, you know, were what, 10 points down at half time? They battled back that day. You know, you think of the games against Clare and all the times they've looked gone and they've looked beaten and they've looked like this Limerick era is going to come to an end. And, and they've gone and done it again. They've gone and done it again. Another All Ireland for Limerick, absolutely remarkable. John Coyley, Paul Connerk, like John Coyley now five All Irelands as a manager in his what seven years he's been in charge. Like that's mental. That is mental, isn't it? Um, five, five, yeah, five All Irelands in seven years. Remarkable stuff. Obviously, he didn't win it in his first year. Um, he didn't even win a championship game in his first year. You know, they were beaten by Clare and Kilkenny. And then they, you know, look at them now. Absolutely mental stuff. Um, hard, hard for Kilkenny to take it. To, you know, th- their way for an All Ireland goes on. Um, it'd be, you know, eight years without an All Ireland. Be nine now. Obviously, by the time next year comes around, if they if they're if they're back at it, then like they're, they're definitely not going anywhere. They're definitely the closest to Limerick. I think they've shown that. They've proven that in this game. They proved that last year. Um, I think they are the second best team in the country. There's, there's absolutely no denying that. They've got a good crop of younger players coming through. Billy Drennan obviously being one of them. Um, and, you know, how long does the like of TJ Reid have left in the tank? I'm not entirely sure, but they're not going anywhere. They'll definitely be there or thereabouts again next year, in my opinion. And, you know, Limerick aren't Limerick aren't going anywhere. Kilkenny aren't going anywhere. You know, this could be, like, this was the, fo- the final this year. This could re- this year and last year. This could very well be the final again next year, in my opinion. It really, really could. Um. You know, you could really see Limerick and Kilkenny, like with their underage, the younger players they've had coming through, could really, really see them both go on and uh, and dominate. Uh, William says, thanks for the stream, you legend. Cheers very much, my man. Cheers very much. Much appreciated. Uh, if people could leave a like and subscribe, that would be much appreciated. Um, yeah, huge congratulations to Limerick and to Limerick supporters for all Orleans in a row, which... Um, is just remarkable stuff. Let's hope Larry McCarthy is doing the presentation. Let's hope. And he bets he, he calls him what? Roger Lynch or something. Gets the name wrong. Gets Keen Lynch's name wrong. Ho- hopefully not. Come on, man. You can't. You can't be getting names wrong again. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But, um, but yeah. Big, big game. And Limerick have delivered. Limerick have, have stood up. You've got Declan Hannon obviously there with Keen Lynch. You know, Keane Lynch was the man injured last year. Uh, Declan Hannon, the man out this year. Um, yeah, incredible, incredible stuff. Five All Orleans in six years, and could Limerick, you know, like look, they're they're one away from the record in in hurling in All Ireland Senior Hurling Championships. If they win it next year, they will become the first senior men's team in the All Ireland Senior Hurling Championship to win five in a row. And you know, they're they're closing in possibly on Dublin six in a row record as well. And I suppose I think the Cork ladies probably have the record for the most all Ireland's won consecutively, you know, um, at senior level across all codes. I think they won nine in a row. But um, but look, Limerick are not, they're not a million miles away. They're not a million miles away from doing, from doing you know, will they win seven, eight in a row? I don't know. But look, they've won four in a row. And um, what, a, what a season. What a, what a team they've had. Keen Lynch there lifting the Lee McCarthy. Uh, Declan Hannon obviously there as well fair play fair play so yeah cheers to anyone who tuned into the stream I'll clip the end of this up as well just for the match reaction and um, yeah leave a like subscribe if you haven't already uh, commiserations to Kilkenny they're definitely not going anywhere they've done so much right for large parks their physicality their intensity was excellent um, Tom Phelan was outstanding Be- I'll have to see a back way Tom Phelan I think Connor- I was looking on the score below up Connor Fogarty went off at half time like that, that was probably a big loss as well. Um, so yeah, big, big disappointment there from um, from a Kilkenny perspective losing those players. I think that was that was key. Why they took Tom Phelan off, I'm not entirely sure. 
think he was probably Kilkenny's best player. Um, and yeah, remarkable. Five points down in the second half when Paddy Deegan gets that goal. And then they hit, what, 18, 19 points after that? Remarkable. Absolutely remarkable stuff from a Limerick perspective. Keen Lynch obviously doing the post-match speech. So, uh, yeah, cheers to anyone who tuned in. Leave a like, subscribe. Congratulations to Limerick. Four All-Irelands in a row. Who would have thought that maybe 10, 15 years ago? Absolutely remarkable stuff from, uh, from a Limerick perspective. Hannah says here, I'm crying. I'm from Kilkenny. Well, look, I'll let you, I'll let you get back to the tears and uh, and everything else. To be fair, Kilkenny have had their fair share of all Ireland wins, and I don't think you'll be going anywhere. You'll be back. You you know, Kilkenny are too good not to, you know, win win an all Ireland in the next couple of years. But the problem is, you know, only one team can win it, and Limerick are Limerick are the team. But uh, but yeah, cheers anyone for tuning in. Leave a like, subscribe, and uh, I'll speak to you all soon.